all right guys welcome back so i am working on the 2013 jaguar xj and we're installing installing an additional radiator um, on top of the one that's already in there and also adding a fan i'll just show you guys so here's what we got so it was kind of a pain in the butt to get it installed but we got um so we got an additional radiator 12 inch fan on top the radiator does have a fill cap it's a little difficult to get to in there but it's doable uh, if you need to get to it but uh, you really don't if you fill through the top um, but yeah I had to m manufacture some custom brackets and I think in the future if we're gonna mass sell this uh, I'm gonna have to um, make it nice and neat and uh, anyways this is the fitment kind of uh, you can see in there that is the space that we have uh, i guess it's hard to tell to see because of the but there's about an inch inch and a half of space between the radiators um so yeah that's the original one and uh that's the aftermarket one and uh, yeah, we, I haven't wired the fan in yet, but uh, yeah, hopefully this. Uh, now there was nothing wrong with the. There was nothing wrong with the factory cooling. As a matter of fact, I'm making around. Uh, let me wipe this camera. Around 670 horsepower on it currently, and uh, it was doing just fine. Um, I mean, the temperature was getting around 200 at the drag strip if you push it hard, but um so does factory power um if when it was 470 it was still getting up to that point so but um now we have a pump that's a little bit larger and uh, i think this additional radi radiator will help quite a bit so yeah stay tuned